but using digital to analog converter, also known as DAC, we can send control voltages from Arduino to modular synthesizers. So what that ultimately allows us to do is to control Eurorack synthesizers with sensors. In this video, we're going to be looking at Adafruit's MCP4728I2C Quad DAC. This little thing has four DACs that are 12-bit resolution, and it's affordable and easy to use and set up. I'm going to experiment, test, and demonstrate if this hardware is good enough for modular synth application. And in the next video, we're going to see some sensors in action. So I hope these videos will be a useful reference for anyone interested in creating DIY modular synth projects. And here's a quick disclaimer if you're interested in trying this. I'm putting this up mainly because modular synthesizers can be quite expensive. So I don't have any obscure synths aside from Shard and this Vernicursal VCA. So yeah, this one is a VCA and this one is pretty much melts bow inside of a Eurorack synth. It sounds rad. In this video, we're going to be using rings for oscillator, this VCA, and Morpheus for filter. This quad DAC was straightforward to set up and use. Adafruit has a great tutorial on their website. I already covered the basics in previous tutorials, such as how to connect stuff to Arduino using breadboard. So I'll only focus on steps that are specific for this device in this video. Okay, the quad DAC is connected to Arduino like this. And I'm going to use an audio jack so that I can send control voltages to Eurorack via cables. This audio jack can be directly connected to the breadboard like this. So this middle part is for ground and this one is for the voltage. I'm going to use my trusty old multimeter to make sure that we're getting voltage. I'm going to be using this example code. So I should see 5 volts when I touch these pins. Great. Now let's output voltages that are ramping up slowly. Here's a quick code that I wrote. Nothing special nor optimized. Let's make sure that it's outputting 0 to 5 volts. Cool. Okay, let's test it out on modular synthesizers. I'm mainly curious about how nicely this DAC will work on pitch control. So it looks like Decker's Dream and Kijimi Synths use 16-bit DACs for pitch and 10-bit DACs for control voltages. So I'm curious to hear if 12-bit is good enough for pitch control. Okay, let's raise the pitch slowly. Yeah, it sounds smooth enough to me. I'll probably notice something weird, if there is any, when I use sensors. But for now, I think it passes the test. Next, let's test out the VCA. I'll run a white noise from Chance into this VCA, and we should hear a smooth volume swell. Nice. Finally, let's try a filter sweep. We're hearing the white noise through Morpheus' low-pass filter. Awesome. Let's try all four control voltages simultaneously. So we'll connect the VCA, pitch, and I guess position parameter in rings. The VCA's LED is getting brighter, the filter is sweeping, and obviously the pitch is rising, all at the same time. So I think this is good enough for an initial test of this quad DAC. What do you think? Do you think these DACs are outputting voltages with high enough resolution? For me personally, I think it sounds great. 
And there was no instances of the voltage values jumping around or anything weird like that. Sounds like clean voltages are being outputted. My final verdict is that I think this quad DAC has a lot of potentials for musical applications. And with a price like this, we can't go wrong. We'll be doing something more exciting and musical in the next video. We're going to use this quad DAC to control modular synthesizers using sensors. I'll see you then.